Hi, I'm Mark. And I'm Terry. And we're Escaping the Empty Nest. So, we just finished a very interesting museum that was not on our radar at all. Mm -hmm. I think our friend Mark Walters is the one that tipped us off at this, watching a video of his about Nuremberg. And it was the uh, German National, Nas Museum. National Museum. It's basically a museum of German history here in Nuremberg. And it was surprisingly fascinating. Um, at one point I thought, you know, this is like the Louvre of Germany. Uh, it has art, culture, history, artifacts dating yeah. back, golly, a half a million years. Yeah, just, um, it, yeah, I don't, I don't even remember, but yeah, yeah. long, 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 long time. Some of those arrowheads were dated oh, back half yeah. a million years. So a lot of it was, of course, you know, in the last 500 years or so, 500, 600 years, but they had a uh, mu musical instrument collection that was worth the price of admission for us being oh, musicians. Um, absolutely fascinating to see the, the progression of the harpsichord to the piano mm -hmm. to the modern sometimes creative versions of pianos. Yes, or lots of different phases of organs as organs were. Um, yeah, yeah, it was it was really, it was very, very interesting. And we can even see the, the history of our own instruments yeah. that we play on Trombone as well. and, and um, the, 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 the serpent. Trombone, the yeah. serpent that was there. S Serpent's and, a predecessor of the tuba, which yeah. is my main instrument. L plenty of trumpets for her to look at and French horns. Yes. Uh, but yeah, it was, just, the art you know we, we we ran across the famous portrait of martin luther that you know mm -hmm. i had no idea it was here i figured it was in the the luther museum up in wittenberg yeah. but no it's here um we talked to one of the uh attending helpers the aides and he said no that's the original yep. so absolutely fascinating small, just like the mona lisa right <laughs> we weren't expecting it's smaller it to be small. <laughs> smaller than the mona lisa but a lot smaller than what you expect it to be of course the difference is you can see from the uh the picture that you can get a lot closer to it than yeah. you can the mona lisa that's oh, for definitely, sure definitely. yeah we were in a room by ourselves no standing in line to see that one nope and uh we're huge martin luther fans of that yes. era of history and uh to be able to see the the, the original portrait that that he painted of himself mm -hmm. his self-portrait mm -hmm. and of course there was another portrait right next to it that was uh, posthumously painted by somebody yeah. else there's also a, a famous picture of him. Kind of made me want to go up to Wittenberg and yeah, see plan, see plan more of that. Yeah, future. Yeah, we definitely need to but, do a Martin Luther King. Yeah, but the yeah. the art, the culture, the history, the well, artifacts. You could tell a, there was a lot of uh, a huge religious uh, Catholic. Yeah. Um, yeah. A lot of statues and a lot of uh, pictures and, and uh, tapestries and and all kind of things that related to Christ and his crucifixion and, and statues of the apostles and Mary and Elizabeth. And yeah, it's a very religious-minded museum. Yeah, it, um, huge part of it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, was really, it was really neat walking through and, and seeing, like, this is how people used to be buried a long time ago. Yeah. Why they buried oh, them yeah. this way. There was a, that, a really cool, I took a picture of it, and um, you know, describing, you know, the, the skeleton of the the body that was buried there was buried in the fetal position thinking that they were going to sleep and going into the next room it was just really cool and fascinating yeah. you know not not morbid at all but no. um it was just really neat to see what people used to think way back in the yeah. ages there's uh so many artifacts that were some of the original to the building because there's parts of this building that date back to the 1300s yeah. and of course you know part of it was destroyed in the war wars yeah. Um, but yeah, part of it oh, remains. I mean, and, yeah, you could tell the inside of it looks like a cathedral in some areas of it. Yeah, and, and some is very modern. Yeah. yeah, and some others are very modern, and yeah. it's just very. I know we have some friends that really, really love architecture and stuff like that, and this museum would yeah. have been right up their alley for some places. So, like I say, we had planned originally planned on going to the Third Reich Museum uh, down by the parade grounds. And uh, we read last night on uh, Google that it's under renovation and not much of it's open. So we use this yeah. as a plan B. And honestly, I'm really glad that happened because I think we got more out of this, appreciating the full history of Germany, not just the 20th century version. Right. And in fact, there wasn't much in this museum that was post-1800. A couple of the musical instruments were modern. Yeah. 
but uh, most of it was 1800 and earlier, much, much earlier. But yeah, um, definitely I would call this the German Louvre because of its size, because of its broadness of uh, different aspects of museum-ness. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just art, it wasn't just history. Yeah. A little of everything. and. Uh, we didn't even hit everything. No. There's still some floors on the map that no. we didn't go on, but you know, because we need to catch a train yeah. uh, to go over to Rotenburg. Yeah. We didn't we wanted to kind of see what we wanted to see and say, Oh, that's on the map. We need to go find that and <laughs> yeah. and uh well, see we saw, we to I see. think we saw I think most we of, saw it. A good yeah. of it. Though. We, yeah. We, we saw a bigger percentage of this than we did the Louvre, that's definitely, for sure. Definitely. Just think of the last six months we've seen the Louvre, we've seen this and we've done the Vatican. So yeah. that's that's three Pretty, 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 three pretty amazing <laughs> museums that uh, yeah. we've gotten off our bucket list. So, uh, and this wasn't even on our bucket list, no. but it should be. If you, yeah, if, if, you, for, if you ever for, find yourself here in Nuremberg and you have some spare time, uh, this was just like maybe a five minute walk from the hotel that we were at. Yeah. It was very close by. Um, and so it was very convenient. It, you know, and it was just, it's, a, it's an incredible museum to go see. Yeah. I, I would definitely put that on my list of things to oh, do yeah. if I've never been here and wanted to see some German history. Definitely. So uh, thank you Mark Walters for recommending mm -hmm. it, telling us it was good and uh, we should have had it on our list to begin with and hopefully this video will encourage others to see it because yeah. honestly it was very empty. I mean this is the high point of travel, of tourism in Nuremberg and this yeah. museum was still empty. Yeah. So uh, more people need to know about this place because it really is amazing. It is only eight euros for yeah. adults to get in. So eight it's euros very each, reasonable, yeah. very and reasonable they, admission. They even offered to uh, let us check our coats for a dollar you know, per locker. Yeah. So that that wasn't bad either, but yeah. So we, uh, we are on our way to Rotenburg to see another Christmas market, but mm -hmm. um, this was a heck of a way to end our stay in Nuremberg. And we hope this has helped you and ho hopefully it encourages you to visit Nuremberg and see this museum. So thanks for watching and bye, bye for now. now.